All right, my fellow crafters, welcome to another day of Share Saturday. Today, um, my share is trying to use the Silhouette Cameo to um, cut chipboard. Now, before I get into that, make sure you go check out all the lovely ladies down below. This is a 12-month collaboration, and this is the month of September, yo. We is getting close to the end. So make sure you go check out all the other ladies to see what they have created for this month. Use, you know, information as far as the scanning cup, cameo, and the silhouette. The cameo and the silhouette is the same thing. I meant the cricket. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I got the thing again. I do have the cameo. I don't have a scanning cut and I don't have a cricket. So, but I like some of the features of those other machines, like the scanning cut. You can scan it in and cut those, you know, cut whatever. And then with the cricket, you can cut chipboard. So I tried to cut chipboard with the cameo. It can be done, but not perfect okay so before i get into that let me check now as far as the blades go the blade i use is the cb09 i think that's what it is i wrote it down here here's my little piece of paper yep cb09 blade and i got this from amazon you know i saw it on some youtube channels as i check it out so i've been using this for um maybe a year now so and it's been it's pretty good it gets me it gets done what i need to get done now when i, I bought this from amazon so you go on amazon and look for the cb09 and you know i don't want to link something down before and endorse it like it's the best thing or something like that because you know they're out there and then again you know you may want to do your research first so and it come and it came with this three different blades i guess so 15 total and it's different um this little a little blade thing that's in the cameo that's inside of here that cuts the paper cuts whatever you're trying to put in there i don't know what you want to call it a blade and it also came with this little housing unit or whatever the case may be like I said, I'm not here to really talk about the blade. I just want to tell you what I use. And I use this right here. And you can use it. You know, they got a 30, a 45, and then 60 as far as the angle. So, um, the reason I'm sure, telling you this is because I don't want you to think I use the regular Cameo blade to cut it. And you be trying like, okay, no, that ain't work. No. What I'm using is this right here. This uh, CBO9 blade holder little concoction. Okay. <laughs> So, let me say that first. So, first I use regular chipboard. And I think it is this one right here. Did it cut through? Yes. It did. Not all the way, though. So, it cut. It's like that back layer just can't get thick. I mean, deep enough. So, I um, cut it twice. And then one time I cut it three times. And um, it still didn't go through. So, what I ended up doing is just taking my um, X-Acto knife. And, you know, I just had to, you know, cut down to get through that last little layer. But I was able to get the shape and whatever and get what I wanted, which is still easier than me having to print it out, put this on some chipboard, you know what I'm saying? Like if I had this as a template, um, um, using my pencil to draw it out and then cutting it out. I still rather use a cameo because so, it gets done what I want to get done, right? Because I want to start cutting stuff, um, doing album stuff from my um, the silhouette, but I want to use chipboard because you know it's going to be sturdier. So anyway, I use regular chipboard for this. And then I got to thinking, what about some cereal boxes? Because for one, it's thinner. And then I can just glue them together. So I did use, uh, when I got some of my kids, Lucky Charms. And because the, two of these together is the same thickness as, you know, the chipboard. And so I did two of these. Still wasn't perfection. Because, and I thought maybe this is because it's like red, not, this, not necessarily red, but the coating that they have on the cereal boxes still wasn't cutting all the way through. But once again... This still was easier, so once it was cut, I was able to more of um, just pull, you know what I'm saying, just do that little, and then just pretty much this little red coating little, um, part off, where this, with the, you know, regular chip boy thickness, I had to use my um, X-Acto knife. This one you can pretty much just pull it, you know, of course you're going to pull it, you know, like, so the paper on here, I'm going to pull it towards, so if anything get messed up, it's going to be in the inside here and not, you know, this chip board. Not going to make a difference in this case because it's going to be covered up. But anyway, so, you know, I kept trying different ways and even different um, angles on my blade or whatever. So nothing really you know, really worked. I even tried to cut it three times, you know, instead of uh, passing it by two, doing it three. So it's still a work in progress, but it can be done. You can't, And then again, maybe if I was to get the Silhouette chipboard itself, I think Silhouette sells a chipboard, maybe that, you know, will work. Or even if I was to use my auto blade. Instead of this right here, if I, you know, I should have tried it, but I didn't. 
um, use my auto blade and put chip, you know, select chipboard in the little drop down on the silhouette, then it might have worked too. But this works for me. You got you got what I wanted done, right? <laughs> That's what we do. So yes, you can cut chipboard, not all the way through. I guess until you you know, unless you find the right material, like I say, which may be the silhouette chipboard. Anyway, so this right here is regular chipboard. This right here is where I cut the cereal boxes in two. And it's just where I glue two of these together. So it's pretty much the same thickness as one of these. So instead of doing two of these, you do four of the cereal boxes and you glue these two together and you're going to get the same thing. Okay? And you just you know, pull them away. So you can do that. That is my share for today. Cutting chipboard on your silhouette. And I'm sure someone has done it before and I. I didn't research any videos or whatever because, you know, sometimes you just want to try it yourself. And everybody can be on, um, doesn't work the same. So what might work for me might not work for somebody else. Or you might have found a, um, a perfect, you know, go-between where, you know, we can use these to put on there. So make sure you put it down in the comments below so we all can enjoy the fruits of your labor. <laughs> but it can be done. You can cut the chipboard not all the way through. With this regular chipboard right here, you're going to go ahead and get your X-Acto knife. Boop, 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 boop. And it's good to go. And on here, you can pretty much tear it away if you're using, like I say, them cereal, board, uh, cereal chipboard. And then you just have to um, glue them together and you get the same effect. And it really don't make a difference, even though mine are all about even. Because once again, I'm going to use my silhouette to uh, cut out um, designer paper to put on here. You know, to make um, little kids onesies or whatever the case may be. So you're not even going to see all that. Once I glue it together, more likely I'm going to paint around here white. But I'll come back and show y'all that um, for the end effect. Okay, so yes, chipboard can be cut on the cameo. I just ain't have a perfected it yet. Okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, my fellow peeps and fellow crafters. Here we go with what I created when I used that um, chipboard. So I did make this little, um, this little boy's little album thing right here. Let me show you the paper that I used. I used this paper right here that I got from, um, it's the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. When they had their clearance, it was $2.99. For these and so i know i got the girl one and the boy one i think i got like three of each so i use this this right here on the floor <laughs> and so this is how um this one came out like i said that chipboard is on the front and the back and i just used the regular chipboard i didn't use the one i cut out of um the uh did i let me stop lying no here's the one i use i'm gonna use this one for um I might make a girl one, but this is the one I use for the um, cereal box, and I glued them together. So this is the one I'll probably use for that. And as you can see, like I said, I painted them, um, so you couldn't see it on there. So I'll probably do a girl one um, with this one right here, um, with you know, with the girl paper pad like I just showed you. So let me see if there's up here, cause I um, and I cut this out, so I just used some 12 by 12. Um, I think this may be 80, 80 weight, 80 pound, and I just cut these out on my silhouette also. So I just put you know, downloaded this into my um, into the software. Well, I didn't say download the software, it was already in the software. And I uh, just print those out and also these here. So cut them the same size and just tape them on there. Of course, when I do that, you have to make sure you flip it because I got this little thing in there. Next time I might just take that out, delete that little thing. That way I can just put them together. And then once I get it put together, go ahead and make that hole. Because it's now, I have to turn it like, make sure I flip it. Because that's on that side and then this one. You know what I'm saying? So make sure it's on the right side because uh, if not, we're messing up a whole lot of paper. Okay? So that's that. Anyway, <laughs> so on here I found this blue, yellow, and um, clear uh, ribbon in my stash. I got a stash. And I put this little clip on there. And on here I have a pacifier and a bottle. And I got these from um, AliExpress. And I just put them on there with some jump rings. On the front here... I got out my little baby dies and I use this rattle right here and then this little sticker right here came from the um the paper pack and I just backed it on some black and it's saying thank heaven for little boys and then it's pretty simple on here you just you know turn the page and just got place for pictures and like I said I just cut it out of that paper the different um patterns designer paper you got some t-shirts right there over here you got some bows or like the bow ties for boys. Anyway, over here you have um, some balloons, hot air balloons, and these just squiggly lines. 
I might have to put a bigger um, thing on here because this is hard to turn. And then it's just this blue paper and then this one here got like ducks and blocks and safety pins and stuff on it. And then this is the back and then yellow. I like this yellow gingham. Might be more like farm or something I should do something with. Hmm, I'm to do some other shaped items. Maybe a bigger one. Um, Thanksgiving coming up, maybe some pumpkins. Ooh, you know, it'd be cute, an acorn. Mm. Um, okay, and so I just want to share that. Now, I also, I um, just want to share this with you also, because I use that same paper pad, and, oh, I got baby on there. <laughs> I use that same paper pad, and I made this carousel. This is a Nicole Silhouette file um, that I got from Etsy, and I uh, cut out and made. And I use that same paper pad, and, you know, cut them out on the silhouette. So, all this was cut in, um, I think this might be 110, um, car sock, which is the white, and then I cut this right here, um, out of paper. One thing I don't like about Paper Studio, that paper is so thin, you know, when you try to cut it, you tan all up, what the heck? Come on, Paper Studio, get it together, because that paper is really, really thin, so it's hard sometimes to cut it on the silhouette, because it tears it up, you know what I'm saying, when it's trying to go across or whatever it can be. Anyway. I made this with it, and this is the inside of a box. So, you know, it'd be good little baby favorites, like little stuff you get when you come out the hospital, little t-shirt they give you, the little thing on your hand, you know, you always get those little hats or whatever. Or, well, as the baby get older, you can give you your little, um, that first lock of hair. Mm-hmm. So, I'll just do this, and of course, the photos go on these little six things. And so, that is what I made. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go check all the other lady ladies out, lovely ladies out down below for this sheer Saturday. And like I said, this is for, what's it, September. So we already got October, November, December left. Getting down to the wires, getting down to the wire. Got to come up with three more things to make. All right, my crafty peeps, I will see you all in the next video.